Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very highly requested kind of a video, but I've put my own spin on your request. So a bunch of you have lately been asking about Sydney's favorite toys, or do a tour of all of Sydney's toys and kind of what she has or things like that. So I have gathered her top 10, technically it's like 11, top 10 most played with toys as of right now currently. Sydney is two and a half years old if that gives you a ballpark on like age. I know a lot of you guys might be looking for Christmas presents already or birthday presents for your little ones. Obviously every child is different. A toy you might see in this um, video your child might not be interested in so obviously keep that in mind. But if you have a boy don't Feel like you need to exit out of this video i hope that you are watching it all the way through because there are definitely things in this video that boys will love too i have every single item linked in the description box below as always so don't forget to check that out and if you guys use my links i so appreciate it so much it means so much to sydney and i um and it helps you know i get a small commission so it helps so much a lot of her toys come from family members from christmases and birthdays um what i buy her i am very very selective on because I don't want to just bring in junk and spend my hard-earned money on toys that she's not going to play with so I always put a lot of thought and effort into what toys I buy her. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know you guys like these videos and I can definitely do more in the future, um, do more in a couple of months because obviously you guys know toy like favorite toys are always rotating um, but I think I have a good handle on what she likes right now. So yeah, let's jump into the video. So the first toy that I want to talk about is this puppy guitar. It's from the brand B Toys. You can find it at Target. You can find it on Amazon for sure. So this toy she plays with for so long. She loves musical toys. She loves to dance and um, sing with them. She doesn't necessarily like put this around her shoulder and play with it like a guitar. She mostly just pushes the buttons and dances to the music. And this entertains her for so long. It has a little dial here where you can play the acoustic um, sound, an electric sound and a howl, which was, it's kind of annoying for mommy a little bit, but it entertains her for so long. I literally do not care. Um, it's just like a dog, like roofing basically here. Why not? And then this button plays the music. She loves that one. She loves it. This drums, this here. She just, I can't even tell you how long this entertains her for. She just absolutely loves this toy. And I don't think I've given this enough love on YouTube. Like I, I tend to not show so many toys on YouTube, some of them on Instagram stories and whatnot. But yeah, I definitely haven't shown you guys enough because this is again, one of her absolute favorites right now. Okay, so another one that she is in love with is this one. And I actually bought this more for an educational thing. I didn't really think it would be like such a big hit, but it really is with Sydney. She's obsessed with it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen this so many times because she pushes all of the um, instruments down here. It has like the instruments and all of the ABCs, the alphabet there, and then it tells you what the instrument is and it plays um, uh, the ABCs or a song that's sounds like the instrument so she's always obsessed with like the fact that this is a bass the trumpet the flute she knows her instruments almost all just because of this <laughs> and then it also has phonic sounds which we are working on right now so if you push the letter it says s s so you can do letters and phonics spelling games music um and what is this one jukebox so it totally is good for like the younger ones because it has music and all of that. And it's also good for older ones, I would say up to like four years old because it does have spelling and phonics, maybe five years old, I don't know. Age groups right now, my child is two and a half. It is awesome for her right now. She knows her alphabet, but she's learning phonics and sounds of letters right now. So this one is really good. Let's just, we might as well turn, turn this bad boy on so you can kind of know what it's all about. And it's from Leapfrog. We love Leapfrog in this house. Okay, so let's do R. R says rhythm. All the letters sing, but I like to rap. Like that. 
So um, I really do love this for the phonics aspect and Sydney plays with it a ton. Again, she loves the music, but she tends to repeat too when whenever she hits a letter and it tells her the sound, she repeats this toy so much. I honestly think she's learned a lot of letter sounds through this toy and not necessarily me teaching her, but this toy teaching her. V, good job. V for the violin. Violin, you're right. Letter band, phonics jam, I don't know. Again, I will have it linked down in the description box below. We love Leapfrog again in this house, but she plays with this bad boy for a long time. My daughter does not have an attention span like at all coloring she'll color for like five minutes and she's over it she's done uh she her attention span's very short but these toys that i'm mentioning today are the things that keep her entertained for the longest amount of time the next item is this magnetic drawing board right here and then i like this one in particular there are so many out there but i honestly think this is one of the better ones um out there i don't know i love it because it has you can see it has like all i'll just show you so this one has all kinds of different colors it's like a grid underneath so it ha comes with the pen and then also comes with these magnets here it's a spaceship theme or kind of like that i thought this was a banana for the longest time but it turns out it's the moon <laughs> hello Sp um rocket ship sun star moon car and then I'll just kind of show you how this works. So they have the magnets on the back and they can easily stamp with these and make a little print. And Sydney loves to do that. She loves to shade in the whole thing and make it like all the fun colors. It did take her a little while to be able to erase it, but she, she has that down right now. This is, um, she's tracing her hands on it. She's practicing drawing letters or writing letters and just overall like enjoys coloring and erasing and coloring and erasing. And then the fact that it comes with the stamps is um, really what she likes the most. I got this for her a few months ago and she's just, pretty much been in love with it ever since I got it for her. So it's been a, a long-standing favorite of hers. So the next thing I'm mentioning is this Doc McStuffin doctor set. Sydney loves it. She loves to play pretend doctor. She's always running around wearing her little stethoscope and telling mommy that she's gonna give mommy a checkup and she's pressing it against me and it plays sounds. It's very um, touchy, but it does have that button. So when you press it against someone's um, like body, it sounds like Doc McStuffin. So yeah, she's always running around giving mommy a checkup and what comes in this little um, briefcase, I think we're missing, we're probably missing, well, we're not missing, but mama didn't want to search for them, a couple of pieces, but for the most part, you just open up the doctor's kit and it comes with a little medicine syringe. She loves that. She always gives mommy medicine and says, mommy, you feel better. It comes with a little, um, one of these I don't know the terms okay okay <laughs> to check your eyes check your ears check your nose she's always like I said I'm her patient and it's so cute and then one of these little shot or temperature actually now that I'm looking at it I think it's a temperature thing and we're always using it as a shot like a needle so good to know I just I just learned that we've had this thing for months <laughs> So that is a really cute doctor's kit if you guys um, have a little one who's into playing pretend. They have all kinds of different themes. This one's Doc McStuffin. I'm pretty sure they have like a more boyish one or gender neutral one as well. Um, but Sydney loves Doc McStuffin and it does come with a name tag, which is around here somewhere. Highly recommend a little doctor's kit for your little person because I don't know, I feel like a lot of kids at that age, two, three years old, start to really get into the playing pretend thing. The next thing I wanna talk about is her pretend kitchen. I will turn you around so you can see her pretend kitchen, obviously. Sydney stinking loves this thing. She did get it for Christmas last year, so she's had it for several months at this point, and this is the thing that she is most obsessed with, that she owns, that we own by far. Sydney wants to constantly cook mommy food. She's constantly pretending she's cooking something. She plays with her little oven mitt and pretends that her food is hot. She washes her hand in the sink. I highly recommend this kitchen in particular by Kidcraft. Yes, it was 
a nightmare to put together. Like it, it wasn't horrible, but there were thousands, not thousands, I'm being very dramatic here. There were a lot of pieces to put together. I did do it myself, so if I can put it together, then you can put it together. And I think, if I remember correctly, it took me five hours <laughs> to put together. It's whatever, it doesn't matter. It's done at this point. It's the best thing that we own. It is very cute. It is good, very good quality, and it has all kinds of little bells and whistles. The little knobs turn and click. It has burners, it has a microwave, it has a little phone. You catch my drift. I highly, highly recommend that kitchen. Watch for it to go on sale. I bought it right around this time last year for Sydney and it was like $150. It went on sale for like 120 or something like that around Black Friday time. My, maybe 115, I don't remember. It went on, like the cheapest that it was was around Black Friday. So just keep your eyes peeled for good deals on kitchens around Black Friday. Along the same lines, reaching over to get her toys, along the same lines of kitchen and play food, Sydney's in love with all of her pretend food. I could just pile that all into like one toy and call it a thing. I wanna specifically talk about these counting cookies from Learning Resources. What, yeah, Learning Resources. So these Sydney obviously loves because they're pretend cookies, but mommy loves them too because they have numbers on them. So. However many chocolate chips there are, there's a corresponding number on the back. If you can see, this one's the number 10. So we are learning to recognize our numbers. Sydney knows quite a few at this point, but not all 10. We'll just start with the first 10. Um, but yeah, it comes with 10 cookies and each cookie has a different amount of chocolate chips on them and then the corresponding number on the back. So whenever we play pretend um, and we're eating our cookies, I'm constantly asking her to count them and showing her the number on the back to recognize the number and counting and whatnot. So it's a double, like a double awesome. A, it's cookies and who, what kid wouldn't want to pretend to eat cookies all the time. And B, it's a learning one as well. So highly recommend the counting cookies from Learning Resources. Love those. My mom got those for her for Christmas last year and they're spot on. So I cannot do a current favorite toys video without mentioning her ice cream cart for like the 18th time on this channel but you guys i really really have to say this is one of her favorite toys behind the kitchen this is probably it okay this is from leapfrog again she got this for her birthday for her second birthday and she's so obsessed with it it plays music it's a really good learning toy as well because it has all of these different cards that you can put in the slots and it tells you like frog wants two scoops of strawberry. So she's counting, she's learning her colors. She's learning, uh, well, she's <laughs> learning her colors like strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, mint. And this little scoop picks up the ice cream with a little magnet and then you can plop it on the cone and it's just so cute. She's constantly making me an ice cream cone. I'm telling her what flavors I want. She loves it. She, it's counting. It's It'll tell you how many pumps that you want of like caramel sauce and then you just wheel it around. I don't know. It's just my friend ended up getting it for her children because whenever they came here, her kids who are almost two and almost four just were so in love with it. So my friend got it just because it was, it's just the toy that everyone grabbed at when they were here. So yeah, I highly recommend the ice cream cart, boys, girls alike, from what I can tell, will love that thing. Sticking with the play pretend food kitchen thing, I'm going to be mentioning Sydney's shopping cart. I know this is a little bit like boring if you ask me, like it's not an exciting toy, but she loves this thing. A, it's like a push toy that you wheel. And for some reason, I have noticed kids, at least up until two and a half, Sydney's year, Sydney's age, absolutely love push toys. We have a little neighbor who's about to turn two and she loves the little like push lawnmower that we have and Sydney loves it too. Like any toy that Sydney can push that's on wheels is a huge hit for her. So she runs around, she puts things in here, she acts like she's going grocery shopping, she acts like she's um, going to the store, she'll like take my diaper bag and put her blanket in here and she says, bye mommy, go to Hannaford, see you later. Hannaford's our grocery store. 
so I definitely recommend getting a grocery cart if this was like I don't know ten dollars maybe at Walmart but they have so many and then this actually came with a bunch of food and cardboard boxes of food of food um, and whatnot but they have so many different ones again this was from Walmart spark create imagine line this has clearly she was playing with this earlier and plopped all of her food in it um, but I definitely recommend something like that if you guys are looking for like say you're doing a Christmas or a birthday this year where your child's into a ton of play pretend Definitely, definitely get a shopping cart to go with any fake food or something like that. If you aren't gonna get a big kitchen, because yes, it is a big splurge, um, you can get cheaper ones, but it's still a splurge, even if you get cheaper ones. Um, a shopping cart and some play food, and you're probably good. This next item I wanna talk about is a little bit messy right now because we have been playing with it so much lately. But I just want to talk about easels in general. Right now, Sydney's in love with writing with chalk playing with her magnetic letters um, on the easel and just writing with like the dry erase marker and then erasing it. Um, she loves, okay, this one, like I said, is not in very good shape at all, but this one in particular is a small one from Guidecraft. It is a tabletop easel. It comes with a whiteboard on one side. Like I said, it's in rough shape because she plays with it so much. And it comes with little cups that you can put paint in them. And I just, we have a mess of chalk and whatnot. And it does come with a roll of paper, like a place to put paper as well um, and she is like I said learning to draw some write some letters she knows H and O right now like how to draw them so we are learning with that but in general I think an easel at this age around two three years old and up obviously is going to be an amazing gift so we have a bigger easel like a normal standing easel and then we have this little tabletop one as well um so if you are low on space then definitely i highly recommend getting a tabletop one because it's small and you know won't just it's just smaller obviously this one i think is around 30 dollars I honestly recommend easels for kids of all ages it's so good for learning to write learning to draw um just drawing and erasing and kind of playing with it that way you can play with different textures you can put your magnets on there and learn letters and just play in general Sydney tends to play with her easel and draw and write on her easel way longer than she does with crayons don't know why it's just her thing she'd rather play with the easel write with chalk and erase it and write with chalk and erase it so yeah that's definitely one of our favorites and whenever I post it on my Instagram stories so many of you guys are always wanting a link to that so I had to recommend that here because I'm not sure I feel like most of her beloved toys don't get enough love on YouTube because we're constantly showing other things the next item I want to talk about is Sydney's pretend castle and it's by the brand little people and you guys I've been searching high and low for this exact one to link for you guys but I cannot find it so I will link the exact brand and the like similar versions they have newer versions now of this toy so right now <laughs> Mama just plopped all of the little trinkets on the top here, but I will try to show you a closer up kind of picture and version of this. It is so good. My friend's daughter, who's a year older than Sydney, is in love with it. My friend ended up getting her daughter the similar like little people thing um, just because she was so in love with it. Every time she came here, that's all she wanted to play with. It comes with little uh, pretend kings and queens and then a little carriage for a horse. And um, it's basically a glorified, not even a glorified, it's basically like a little dollhouse. So you open it up, it plays music, the little drawbridge opens. Sydney's so into, well, it does if mommy can do things here. <laughs> And it plays music. Oh gosh. Anyway, so Sydney's huge into playing pretend right now with her like little, little people and with a little trinket. It's not like so little. She's not huge into dolls, but she's definitely into little pretend houses and things like that. So. All right, you guys, so that is going to do it for Sydney's top 10 most played with toys at the moment. Um, I hope you guys got some ideas. So let me know in the comments down below, did you like this type of video? If you did, again, give it a thumbs up so that I know to film more of these videos and I can always test out more toys for you, let you know what are hits and what are misses and whatnot. And yeah, 
Obviously, Sydney's going to be getting a lot more toys in the coming months, so I will continue to let you know what are her favorites and test things out. Definitely work hard for our money and spending money on toys that our children are not going to play with is definitely not something that we want to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.